We begin with another dimension to the PDP crisis. What began with a walkout has now found its way into the courts. A Lagos High Court sitting in Ikeja today rejected an oral application made by Abubakar Baraje's faction of the People's Democratic Party seeking an order for the reopening of its secretariat in Abuja, which was closed by the police on Saturday. The trial judge, Justice Gani Safari, instead rejected directed the faction to file a different application, joining the Inspector General of Police as defendant. The Baraje faction had dragged the PDP, led by Mr. Bamanga Tukuro, to court, seeking an order to restrain the chairman and his co-defendants from parading themselves as PDP neck members. The Baraje faction therefore asked the court to order the police to remove its armoured personnel vehicles from the Secretariat. Justice Safari, in a short ruling, held that there was no evidence linking the Tukuru faction to the closure of the Baraje Secretariat. The court has adjourned to September the 17th for the defendants to resolve the issue of representation and also to hear the preliminary objection filed by the defendants challenging the jurisdiction of the court. At the hearing of the matter on Monday, the court was first confronted with the issue of determining the counsel for the defendants. A mild drama played out when three lawyers announced appearance for the two core faction, which also had Prince Uche Secundus, Mrs. Kema Chikwe, and Mr. Olisa Metu as second, third, and fourth defendants. Vacation judge Justice Ghani Safari rose for almost an hour to consider his ruling after listening to the submissions of all three lawyers. Mr. Lerde claimed that um, he's a lawyer to all the defendants, the four. Um, Mr. Igwe, uh, coming from Gazama, SAN, uh, claims he's representing the four defendants. And we claim, based on the letter we have from the National Legal Advisor of uh, PDP, uh, Barrister Victor Wan, that we represent the second, the third, and the fourth defendants. The Roman Gatuku briefed us in writing, but there's another lawyer who came in and said he was briefed orally by Chief Tuku. By the 4th of September, everybody knew that we had filed papers on behalf of the defendants. Now, if they were now instructed after us, what they should have done as lawyers is to write us and say, look, we understand that you have taken steps in this matter. But we have letters of instruction that are superior to what you claim to be relying on as the lawyer. So we will take over from you. Now, if they write me, I will have a right to now respond to them before we come to court. The whole matter will have been resolved. When the court reconvened, it eventually resolved the controversy in favor of Mr. Oluyede, who was the counsel on record. The court held that the other lawyers had not fulfilled the requirement of Order 48 of the Lagos High Court rules, which requires them to properly disengage the services of the counsel on record. After that, counsel to the Baraje faction accused the Tuka faction of using the police to seal off its secretariat in Abuja. The Baraje faction said the old PDP faction had violated the court's previous order to maintain the status quo pending the dissemination of the suit. It therefore asked the court to order the police to remove its armored personnel carrier vehicles from the secretariat and allow the new PDP access to their offices. The court made an order on the 2nd of September that parties should maintain the status quo until light time. And that is status quo that existed as at the 2nd of September 2013. Because once parties have surrendered to the jurisdiction of the courts, each party must await the determination of the court. Counsel to the Tuko faction of opposed this argument. Also, he submitted that it was only an assumption that the police had acted on the orders of his no clients evidence, as there was no evidence said, linking them to the act. Justice Ghani Safari, in a short ruling, agreed with him that there was no evidence linking the Tuko faction to the closure of the Baraje Secretariat. The judge also reiterated his previous order that both parties should maintain status quo pending the determination of the matter. The status quo in this matter is that a group of people who are not elected as the officers of PDP are claiming to be officers of the PDP. That's the status quo. Now the court has adjourned proceedings till the 17th of September, first to allow the defendants put their house in order as regards the issue of representation of counsel, and also to hear the preliminary objection filed by the defendants. Shola Shoyele for Channels Television News. 
Well, in spite of this development, the drama continues to unfold as the Baraje-led PDP has elected National Working Committee members. The members include Abubakar Baraje as the chairman, Dr. Sam Sam Jaja, deputy national chairman, Olagun Soye Oilola, the national secretary, and Mr. Umar Hilia, the deputy national secretary. The names of the officers were released in a statement signed by Mr. Oilola today. However, on the 10-man list, there was no national auditor or national legal advisor, positions which are zoned to the southeast and the southwest. Ms. Oilala says they will be announced soon. Well, this crisis at the PDP at the moment has been blamed on the lack of respect for the rule of law on the part of the national chairman, Mamanga Tokoro. These were the words of the National Secretary of the new PDP, Olagun Soye Oilola, in Oshun State, when some members of the party trooped out to welcome him home. At the party rally, Mr. Oilola noted that if the situation in the PDP is not quickly resolved, it will have a negative impact on the country's democratic process. A triumphant entry, you may want to call it. Okuku, the hometown of former governor of Russian state, is a god. He may be a dissident to the Bamanga led PDP, but here in his hometown, he's surely a hero. In what looks like defiance to an order by the PDP Orders Committee in the state, for any PDP member who attends any meeting called by Oinola or the new PDP would be sanctioned. And even the warnings by Alaji Bamanga to to members of the party who associate themselves with the breakaway group, these people have gathered in solidarity with Oyinlala and the new PDP. What is left for us now is to remain cohesive. There should be cohesion. We must remain studying like Prophet of Gibraltar towards the fighting PDP. On the crisis rocking the PDP, Ms. Onyulala says the manipulation of the delegates leads for the mini convention led to the breakaway of a new PDP faction. What do I mean? The plank upon which the judgment was given was that I am not a nominated candidate of the Southwest. What then is the nexus? What is the connection between the Zona Congress and National Convention? With all of these, Mr. Nyalala appears undeterred but maintains that Mr. Tuko, whom he constantly referred to as a former PDP national chairman, is a dictator who ran the affairs of the party without recourse to provisions of the constitution. We believe that our elders, the wise counsel of our elders, will prevail. If that does not work, if you don't want me in your place, I look for any other association that will accommodate me. The former chairman, uh, Bamanga Tuku, has uh, told uh, any governor that uh, wants to leave to leave. I don't believe that's a leadership, uh, a good leadership quality. With the unfolding event, it seems when the last year enjoys the support of his people, to him there is still room for reconciliation if the, the elders of the national PDP vote will that. approve the request laid down by the new PDP faction. Well, more twists continue to emerge in the People's Democratic Party's crisis. This time it's in Kaduna State, where senior and founding members have dumped the Babanga Tukuru leadership and aligned with the new PDP, led by Abubakar Baraje. They cite what they describe as the party's dwindling fortunes under the national chairman of Mr. Tukuru and the state's party chairman. The members crossing over to the new PDP include a former chairman of the PDP in Kaduna State, Mr. Yaro Makama, and a former state legislator, Mr. Gideon Morick. In a statement, both men said the aggrieved member's decision was taken after deep reflections on happenings in Kaduna since Mr. Namadi Sambo was elevated to the position of vice president. They insist that Mr. Sambo has proved incapable of rallying the people under the party's umbrella in the northwestern state. Meanwhile, the state chairman of the People's Democratic Party have pledged their support for the Bamanga Tokoro leadership of the party and President Goodluck Jonathan. Following their meeting at the national headquarters of the PDP in Abuja, the group admitted that there are concerns about the issues confronting the party. They, however, resolved not to allow what's happening at the federal level to occur at the state level. 
20 state chairmen of the state chapters of the People's Democratic Party at the party's headquarters in Abuja. They're here to present the communique of their meeting at the conference of PDP state chairmen. That as the critical grassroots stakeholders with enormous responsibilities for the mobilization and unity of our party, we are concerned that some party members are expressing personal grievances without due process. We wish to implore our team members and supporters to remain steadfast as there is no need to panic because the transformation program of the PDP led administration will surely take us to 2015 and beyond. They also met with the national chairman of the party and other leaders of the party. They pledged their support to the national chairman and the president, Goodluck Jonathan. Support the national chairman appreciated. Ours is to tell you, Your Excellency, sir, that since we are holding forth for you in our state chapters, we will not allow what is happening in Abuja to transcend to any of the states in the Federation. Democracy means that the majority may have their way, but the minority also will have their say. If they have their say, definitely in democratic sense, the majority will always win. You are the majority. Look at all of you here agree that what we are doing is right. The national chairman said the party has contributed a lot to the development of Nigeria and so has a responsibility to uphold the unity of the country. Lanre Lassese, Channels Television News.